on Mr. Merkid here and today I'm going to be showing you how to create a little button that will open another application. I've been asked this a uh, little bit recently, there's apparently a tool going around where you can open um, a Skype colour sort of thing inside it, but I have it in my own tool anyway where you can open other files, so people don't know how to do this, it's just going to, we're going to use in the shell uh, function which is already in there, so yeah, I'll just show you how to do that. Um, so I'm just going to use a button, it's, all we need is a button and we can open this up and there's various ways to do this but we can be using the shell. Now if we look at it we can look what it takes, it takes the path name as string and then uh, the, obviously the name of the file so it just needs the file name of which to open and then as you can see what it does is it runs an ex executable program and returns an integer containing the program's process ID if it's still running so shell and we basically just need to tell it the path of the file uh, there's different ways you can do the path so um, some ways I've done it is I've actually set some strings up where it's all saved so you could say dim um, desktop as a string, uh, well, I don't know why I did that. As a string, and that could be equal to C drive. And mine is users show and desktop like that. that. So that is my desktop folder. Um, you want to actually put the other backslash at the end as well because you need to do that to let it know that you're in the desktop directory so we could use that and if I had a file on my desktop which I'm not I'll, I'll show you a different way uh, so now this is set up as my desktop so I could say desktop in here and then the lo like the name of the file so file name but you'll put that in um, speech marks just like that so that's one way of doing it another way we could do is we can say application dot startup path so if we come into the project folder uh, YouTube Skype tool as you can see when we start this up it's this is the startup path so any file in here we can launch if I copy this our actual program but I'll rename it I'll rename it to test so the tool it's just going to be the tool I could say application dot startup path plus and then test dot exe but because we didn't put the backslash we need to put that before test so we can run this and we'll see this in action just wait for this to open um, ignore this this is some hwid stuff I was messing with which will be in a tutorial soon uh, but this is the button which should open test and if it don't open right away it's because I need to accept it on Skype yes open oh uh, that should open now which it did so there we go that is how you open programs that way so yeah it's pretty much the same way but if you want to change the location of things you can do it uh, using this so that is the startup path there's application dot special no application dot let me find it I forgot it off the top of my head there's special directories and you can do it all that way as well uh, I've actually forgot what it is off the top of my mind but that is one way you can also just do in here the same as we did here you don't, you don't even have to call it this it just makes it easier and so you can use it so you could just paste it like that and say test.exe and that will work fine. So that is how you would open a program using shell. You don't need this, it's, it's sort of easier if you're doing it like in a lot of places. Yeah, so that's open to a program. Um, I'm not too sure if people meant using the button though or like actual putting a program inside the program, which if that is what you meant, just leave a comment and if that is what you meant, I'll make that video too. So yeah, this is just a short video on how to open programs. Uh, I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, please leave a like and a comment and I'll see you next time.